Okay, we're back and we're going to step two. And so the key in step two is to remember that you have these kind of square things happening and then you have these triangular things happening. As well, you know that these are kind of like a belt, each, each one of those four strips. And so when we get to this thing, well, what we want to do is, instead of thinking about this as a big square, we want to connect things up. Okay, and so our goal is to make a loop. And so the first one, we can just grab two and stick them together like so. Okay, so there's the square going to a triangle. And so now the tricky part is sometimes getting um, these ties into the holes, which is takes a little bit of, because now I've got to have it go through three of these things. Okay, oh. So maybe we'll start with one, put it into the next one, and then hit the third one. Okay. And so, now you just want to tie it off. Once again, don't tighten it too much until you know it's together. Okay, so now we have one loop. And so, when we look at the loops, this one's going to go under, and if it goes under over here, it's going to go over there. Okay, and so, let's see if we can make this one go a little bit easier than the last time. So we have to sort of hold here and then pop this thing through here. And and so you can see even with just two of them in there we're starting to f get a sense for this thing um, to come together. Okay, and so this one's got to go underneath here and here. <laughs> a little bit tricky. So let's just pop that in. And so now we've got one to go. So we just have to remember, if it's going over here, it's got to go under here, and then over, and then under, and we should be under here. And so let's just take a look. We're practically done, except for tightening, and we still have a few more of these to put in. Okay, and so this guy is going to just slide in. These, these next four are going to be pretty simple because they didn't have to, um, they only have two things connecting them, not three. So part of the reason why this thing is so easy to put together is because we started with that nice um, symmetric design of having four. And another one here. And I believe this one is our last one. So 
So we definitely know it's not coming apart. And then we just now have to tighten everything up. And as well as tightening things, we'll want to cut off all these extra bits that are hanging around. So there we have it, except for cutting off the bits, but it's exactly like this one here. And so all you have to do is sneak the pair of scissors in there and chop them down so they're not quite so big. But that's essentially what you end up with. And that's it. Good luck with that.